This video covers initial login and quick start setup of your Greenlight website to get you up and running and accepting cashless payments in your machines. If your machine was delivered with the Greenlight system already installed from the factory, then you will need to locate the installation worksheet shown here inside the machine. It will either be taped to the window or placed in the service packet along with other machine related documents. If your Greenlight came as a kit and you are installing it on an existing machine, you will need to get this form and record the same information. The installation worksheet will have several copies of machine information fields in case you have several machines to record at once. You can just record them all on one sheet. The worksheet will provide the ID number of the Greenlight device installed in the machine, plus enough basic information about the machine to allow you to identify it, the customer site, the make and model, etc. Record the green light device number found on the label located in the center of the orange box as shown. Record the machine manufacturer's name, model, and serial number, or the asset ID number if one exists. An important note, the machine will need to report in for the first time before editing the machine information. Refer to the machine asset setup section of this video to prepare so you know the steps needed when the time arrives. Within five to ten days of your order being accepted and cashless processing approval, you will be receiving by email a link to your online Greenlight website. Before your first login, you should change your password for security purposes. Click the Forgot Your Password link below the Greenlight login area. This will bring up a screen where you can enter your email and hit the Reset My Password button. An email will then be sent to you with a link that will take you to your Reset Password screen where you can enter your email address, the new password, and the new password again for confirmation. Then click the Submit button which will change your password so that you can log into the Greenlight website. Bookmark this link as you will be using this link to log into your website each time you want to check your sales or administer product. You can also log in by visiting the greenlightvending.com website and clicking the login button in the upper right hand corner. To quickly get you started we're going to run through a few steps. First we'll set up the customer and site for which your Greenlight equipped machine is located. Then we'll set up and assign the machines with Greenlight devices or Greenlight kits you've ordered to the customers and the location. At the top of the screen you will note the series of tabs displayed left to right. These tabs will provide access to various parts of the web application. We will look at the setup tab first to begin setting up the customer and location. Click the setup tab and click on the assets option. This will bring up a screen headed with customers and locations. Note that your machines with newly installed green light equipment are initially listed as unassigned in warehouse and categorized as not deployed. The first step is to create an entry for each customer where Greenlight devices have been installed in one or more machines and then to reassign each machine from the warehouse to the appropriate customer. Click the Add Customer button just below the Customer and Locations heading to bring up the Create a Customer screen. In Greenlight, a customer is defined as an entity with which you have an arrangement to place vending machines on their premises. A customer may maintain one or more locations at which machines are placed. Only the name, address, city, and state fields must be completed for each new customer added to the system. We're going to add an example customer name. The code area is an optional area. If your company already uses ID codes for customers or accounts, you can use the existing code from that system. If you wish to institute a system of customer ID codes, we suggest that each code start with one letter, the first initial of the company, followed by a number. This will allow the list sorted by code to be in rough alphabetical order by name. Enter the customer's street address. If this customer maintains more than one vending location, Enter their billing address, normally the main or home address, here as the main customer address. Enter the city for this address. 
Select the state for this address from the drop-down box at this field, and then enter the zip code, or outside the U.S., the appropriate postal code. Then choose the country or province. United States is selected by default. If necessary, change this entry by making a different selection from the drop-down box. The phone number, fax numbers, and email addresses are other optional entries that you may use to keep customers' contacts organized. The Create Location field should remain set to its default option, Yes, Create Location at this address. You may see the fields Salesperson, Account Manager, Start Date, and End Date. You can disregard these fields as they are not used in Greenlight. You use the Description field to write in any pertinent information about this customer. After you've entered the customer information, click the Save button. You will then be returned to the previous screen, the Customers and Locations list. Your newly created customer should appear on the list in alphanumerical order. If this customer, like many vending customers, maintains only one location where your vending machines are placed, this completes the entry of that customer. If this customer maintains multiple vending locations, you will need to set up one or more additional locations for the customer before proceeding. To set up multiple locations under the customer, Click the Add Location button on the line or row representing your newly added customer. This will bring up a Create Location screen. The customer selected at the previous screen on the row where you click the Add Location button is selected by default. Leave this entry as is while you enter each of the customer's additional locations. In the Name field, enter a clear description for the location within this customer's premises. For example, ABC Company, Second Floor Lunchroom. Just as when we were setting up the customer, the field code does not require an entry. If you are running a vending management system that includes location ID codes, you may wish to enter the appropriate code for this customer location as set up in your existing system. The address, city, and state are required entries, so enter the location's information. The zip code is optional. Again, select the country or province. The United States is selected by default. If necessary, change this entry by making a different selection from the drop-down box. The phone number and fax number, as well as email, are again optional entries. The next field, Days Open, is not used in Greenlight and can be skipped. The Route Subroute field should have Choose selected in the current area. There's a drop-down over to the right. If you click that, you'll be able to find your route select that route. In this case, Greenlight Demo Warehouse is used as our route. The Map Page and Map Grid areas are not used in Greenlight and can also be skipped. The Final Area, Description Area, can be used for notes for the location. In this case, only accessible from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Click the Save button at the lower left to save the location and return to the Customers and Locations listing screen. Click the plus sign icon in the left-hand column on the line representing the customer for which you just added a location. The plus sign changes to a minus sign so you can switch back. An indented list of the customer's assigned locations will appear. To add another location, now or at a later date, simply click Add Location on the row listing the appropriate customer and repeat the previous steps. If you are no longer servicing a customer and need to delete them, first you will need to delete the locations underneath each customer listing. Click the Delete button next to each location. Then you will be able to hit the Delete button next to the customer. This will completely take them out of your system. Each time you complete the setup of a customer or a location and click Save, the Customer and Location Listing screen will appear. Repeat the procedure for the next customer.